And welcome back to the Factor on Center. We're talking about the opposite of dropping those drawers or those big bloomers tonight. A company named Laurel wants people to keep their specially, specially made panties on. Their underwear is specially made to prevent STIs or if you're old school STDs. The FDA has given these stretchy panties their stamp of approval. While they may be effective for safer sex, the ladies of Girl Talk told me this just ain't sexy to them. So Maggie, you never, never yeah. shy about these types of issues. <laughs> it's called Laurels for Protection, and they are single-use natural latex undies that block the transmission of bodily fluids and STIs, and you can lick right on top of them, and it feels natural for. First of all, did you just sex. go like this? Uh, <laughs> or like this. Okay. Uh, or like this. What's yeah, the, the, question, alphabet. What's the, the song, alphabet. Maggie? Do you remember the song Candy Liquor? Yeah, no, I don't. I don't. Oh my God, she's, she's too young. <laughs> so your thoughts about these uh, single-use panties for oral sex? Um, first of all, uh, my grandmother is in town and I pray she's not watching. <laughs> I mean, honestly, if you have to go to the extreme of wearing a certain type of underwear or certain type of barrier because of sexually transmitted whatever, I just feel like the act shouldn't be done. I mean, I just feel like it's not natural. <laughs> It's Does it feel like a danger zone anyway? It, exactly. It's like, hold on, let me go get my STI whatever <laughs> prevention panties because chances are I probably got one. Like, it's just weird. Like, <laughs> now if you're in a committed relationship and there's an understanding, then maybe, okay. But I, it's just it's just not natural to me. I think it's a great idea, very um, innovative. And, you know, I know that there's a wide population of people who do have STIs, I guess if you have an STI and it's not treated, that's probably my concern more so than trying to wear a barrier to prevent transmitting. But um, I mean, it's, it's innovative. If it's something that I think is, I mean, I, I wouldn't, I don't need it. I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't seem natural. So Lena, does this sound like it's more for a one night stand for a party girl out there? or, you know, someone who is this, in a committed relationship? This sounds like a no for me all the way around, yo. Um, <laughs> I feel like it's being created so that way you could try to sexualize a woman uh, being intimate and to sexualize our body so that way we don't have to say, hey, let's take these measures to prevent something from happening. And I, I don't like how it's being presented. There are tests on the market that you can get that can give you results in less than 15 minutes and you can get all the answers that you need. Um, do I think that you should be doing this kind of activity on a one night stand? Absolutely not. You should just use protection and there's dental dams. There's but condoms. being a realist, Lena, you know people are doing it on a one night stand. I do, I do. So be smart about it. Pay $100 to take those tests. It takes 15 minutes to get you that answer. You can make out with somebody in those 15 minutes. You can go to first base and do all those things with your fingers and hands before you take that next step. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> I can see you just knitting for 15 minutes. Okay. All right. We'll be good. Yeah. Let, pull minutes. the results. Let me see those results. Let me see those results. But Are those damn uh, results in yet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're both. What'd your test say? What'd your test say? <laughs> yeah. I, I would not, though. I would just. I, on a one night stand, though, I, those are activities that I personally would refrain from. Use a dental okay. dam, use, use a condom, or... How far would you go on a, a first date or one night stand? I mean, we all have our whole phases. Some people <laughs> won't admit to it. And sometimes you just go out and you're like, I don't even, I'm not even trying to date. I'm just trying to get something taken care of. Can you fulfill those things? <laughs> yes or no? A little pressure relief, a little pressure relief. Julia, let's hear from you on this. Laurels for protection. Your thoughts on these uh, one-use panties? I think it's an interesting idea. Um, I did read the article, but I agree with both ladies, and, and especially what Maggie said. I mean, if you have 
STIs or STDs, and you probably shouldn't even be doing that. <laughs> Priorities <laughs> all backwards. Yeah. Julia, that, Julia, do you say take your nasty ass to the clinic first and exactly. then come see me? Exactly. And then if you looked at the panties, I mean, just like we as females know, I mean, you're gonna have, it, it's not going to stay right in those little panties. Because <laughs> where it was at the bottom, I mean, I don't think that's going to be much of a barrier for anybody. And it said comfortable. That's a lie. Yeah. <laughs> they were going to make it like more of a one time, like a one night stand type of thing. At least make it kind of lacy. Like, let me convince you. I'm just trying to do something with these sexy draws on, but the granny looking panties. Yeah. <laughs> and then, no. and then, like you said, are, are you going to stop in the middle and be like, oh, hang on a second. Let me go get my, you know, one of five used panties. I want to try something new. Do it with draws on. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, and flip the script, right? Flip the script to those who do have STIs and STDs because we don't know their story or their, or their background uh do i think that it's safe for them no i, I don't i, don't I think, think so stick to den dental dams stick to condoms that's going to be your safest method for protecting yourself that or is that's it or antibiotics <laughs> that's true well yeah definitely <laughs> Definitely, so it, 100. So yeah. it's, a, it's a no to the grandma bloomers, I guess so. Thank you, ladies, for joining us here on The Factor on Sensor tonight. We'll send the company this videotape and see what they say. <laughs>